Hello YouTube, today I'm at Pinckney Chrysler Dodge Jeep Ram taking a look at this 2021 Ram 2500. Uh, this particular one is the Bighorn with the night edition package. It also has the LED uh, headlight and taillight upgrades as well as the 4x4 off-road package and the Ram box cargo management system. Uh, I love the granite crystal metallic color. Uh, that is the color I was gonna get on my truck but I opted for the red. Uh, so starting off up front, you have the blacked out LED headlight bezels, blacked out grill, very nice powder coated tow recovery hooks, and you have the parking sensors integrated into the bottom portion of the bumper. Coming around to the side, you got your blacked out 2500 heavy duty badging. Up top, you got your clearance lights with your radio antenna. Down here we got your nice 20 inch black wheels. These are 285 6020s and they are on Firestone Transforce ATs. Right here we've got your Hemi 6.4 liter badge. Splash guards are included. Cab length black running boards. This particular one does have the manual flip tow mirrors. Uh, it wouldn't be a 2500 if the tow mirrors weren't flipped up. Very, very nice truck. Right here we have your Rambox cargo management system with light right there, as well as light right back here. I believe the other side has the power plug in it. Again, you have plastic molding right there to protect against rock chips and corrosion. Then you have your splash guards right here with some paint guard included. There's your 4x4 off-road badge. Blacked out C-channel LED tail lights color match bumper with parking sensors integrated into the bottom portion of the bumper. Four pin and seven pin connector as well as your LED license plate lights. Blacked out 4x4 badge and Bighorn badge. There's your updated Ram logo. Tailgate release as well as your backup camera. Coming around to this side, right here we have your 115 volt, 400 watt max power outlet. Uh, Ram box system is definitely the way to go. I will talk more about that when we look at the bed Right here. We have your fuel fill port again Blacked out running boards and then you got to put tow mirror up 2500 after all And a lot of people uh, do give the 25 3500 guys crap for driving around with their mirrors up. Um, I will point out the reason why I do it. Uh, when your mirror is like this, this blind spot mirror, this little spotter mirror, you can't really see all that much. When you flip your mirror up like this, and you're on the freeway, for example, you can see, however, I mean, where I live, you know, the freeway lanes are three and four wide. If I'm in the slow lane or the fast lane, I can see all the way over to the slow lane or the, the fast lane, you know? So I think driving in this position, using the spotter mirror is definitely the ideal way to go. Uh, you just see way more. I personally think it's it looks better too, um, but again, some people, you know, don't like it. So whatever. But that being said, uh, beautiful truck, love the color, very aggressive. Again, this does have the 6.4 liter Hemi V8. Um, let's take a look at the... So uh, this being a 2500, it does sit considerably higher off the ground than the 1500s, but with the running boards and the grab handle, it's very easy to get up and in. Starting off on the left side of the steering wheel, we have your lock and unlock button, your window lock button, uh, rear window control, front window control, which is also automatic up and down, your mirror control, push this center button and the mirrors should fold in for you, which uh, is awesome, especially with a truck of this size. Push it again and they automatically fold out. Down here we have your lighting for the exterior of the vehicle. Right here we have the uh, dimmer switch for the ambient lighting of the interior. And then to the right of that we have the dimmer switch for the instrument cluster. Coming up to the center instrument cluster, I will turn the truck on real quick to show you. Um, in my opinion, I think Ram uh, is probably the best in the, in the truck market in terms of uh, instrument cluster currently. 
each of the corners you can change to monitor whatever parameter you want. Right here you can uh, change this to be uh, range to engine temperature, coolant temperature, whatever you want, and this can be modified as well. Coming back to the leather wrapped steering wheel, it is heated, which is very nice. Right here we have the control pad for the center LCD display, as well as your hands-free call buttons. On this side we have your cruise control buttons, and down here we have your manual gear limit. Um, and in this truck, being the 6.4 Hemi, I believe it has the eight-speed automatic transmission. Just like all FCA vehicles, on the back of the left side of the steering wheel, you have your seek or scan button. And then on the back of the right side of the steering wheel, we've got your volume rocker. This vehicle does have push button start, as you can see right here. Also has the rotary dial shifter, uh, which is a dead giveaway that this is the 6.4 Hemi and not the 6.7 Cummins. You also have your push button transfer case right here, two wheel drive, four high, four low, and then hill descent control. Up top, you have your Alpine speaker system. This does have the Alpine uh, audio package. Right here you have a shallow storage compartment as well as a 12 volt outlet right there. Very nice granite or marble looking trim throughout this big horn. However, it is plastic. Um, it does look very nice though, which brings us to the center LCD touchscreen display. Very responsive. I love this display. I think FCA does a really good job with their displays. Um, as you know, if you live in the north, uh, cold climates, the uh, temperature does affect the uh, touchscreen display a little bit. However, it is still very responsive and high definition has Apple CarPlay and Android Auto. I'll put the car or truck in reverse and you can see how high definition the backup camera is. And if you listen closely, let me uh, put it in reverse again. This particular one does have the uh, backup alarm, uh, which is the first time I've actually heard that in all of the trucks I've tested, so pretty cool. Down here we have your physical volume knob and tune knob, as well as your mute button and your screen off button. If the screen is a little bit too bright at night, you can push the screen off button. To turn the screen back on, you can either push the screen off button again or just touch the screen. Right here we have your hazard light button. Under that we have the heated seats for the driver and passenger. In the middle of that we have your heated steering wheel button. Right here we have your dual zone climate control setup. Integrated trailer brake control right here. To the right of that we have your traction control off, tow haul mode, parking sensors for the rear off, parking sensors for the front off. Under that we have two USB ports, two USB-Cs, and an auxiliary jack. Move this center console out of the way, giving us access to a cell phone storage tray. And then down here we have a 115 volt, 400 watt power outlet. Very, very cool. Which brings us to the configurable center console. Um, not a lot has changed for uh, the 2021 model year. I believe some uh, features have changed. Uh, I'm not 100% sure uh, if you can get the heads up display in the 2021s yet. I know for the 1500s that is a new thing, as well as the um, 360 degree um, towing mirror camera system is new for the 1500s for 2021. Um, this being a big horn, uh, I don't really see all that many changes so far. But getting back to this, center console three uh, different configurable positions. First position gives you access to two cup holders, storage tray for change, and then your regular storage tray. Second position gives you access to just the cup holders and a little bit of the deep storage compartment. And then third position gives you just access to the deep storage compartment. This center armrest is very nice and soft, leather wrapped. It also doubles as a two-tiered storage compartment. First shallow tier, open it up giving us access to a USB port with a cord management slot right there. Right here we also have a little Easter egg that Ram decided to include in their trucks. Trigonomic ratios, uh, standard to metric conversion, and then fraction to decimal conversion right there. Also another Easter egg, this little center uh, divider right here that lifts up has the previous generation, that'll focus, of Ram trucks on it. So you got your first gen Ram, second gen, third gen, and fourth gen. Very cool. 
Here's a closer look at the cloth seats in this truck. Again, floor liners are included. Glove box, pretty standard for this size of truck. Here's your second glove box with your Bighorn branding right there. Push this button, gives you access to it, and it is LED lit. Coming up top, halogen lit vanity for passenger, as well as driver. Then up top we have your halogen dome map light buttons. This button right here controls the rear sliding window, as you can see. In front of that we have the glasses uh, storage compartment. And then right here we have a really nice sleek uh, rear view mirror. I believe this is new for 2021. Uh, I'm not 100% sure though. I do not have this in my 2020. You also have a three door universal garage remote right here if I didn't already go over that. If that'll focus maybe, I don't know. Uh, overall, I, I love the interior of this truck. Uh, even though it is a big horn, I, I still feel like it is very comfortable. And this is definitely um, a really good option, uh, bang for your buck if you're not looking at it, getting a bunch of uh, the luxurious features. If you are and wanna spend just a little bit more money, uh, I always recommend people getting the Laramie because you do get a little bit more creature comforts for not that much more money. Uh, let's take a look at the back and see so how much Something money. I wanna point out, uh, the 2021 and the 2021 1500 and 2500 do have different cabs. Uh, currently, the Heavy Duty Series is still sharing the cab from the previous fourth generation. I believe they're supposed to change cab design come 2022 when manufacturing is moved from Mexico to Warren, Michigan. So uh, if you have a fourth gen or have seen a fourth gen 2500 this will look very familiar to you uh, this seat does fold up this one is a bench seat both of these fold up very easily you do have a cup holder in the middle but these little plastic pieces fold out giving us load flat floor on both sides so if you do have a TV you don't want to put in the bed uh, you can put these up and then put them up here and not have to worry about the transmission hump. If they're in the up position, you also have a little bit of under storage right here. And then fold them up again and you have under seat storage as well. So very cool. Uh, these full liners are awesome. They are lipped and they go underneath the driver's seat a little bit to protect against uh, spills. And then this sharing the same cab as the fourth gen 2500s you have the first gen um, in-floor storage compartment right here if i do this one-handed this is removable so you can put ice uh, for cans and stuff in here and then wash it out later but uh, i love that ram gives you the option to have in-floor storage there's pretty much storage everywhere in the back of this truck whether it be in the floor or under the seats um, very very cool getting up again is as easy as getting in the front because of the running boards and the grab handle. Um, I will say with the seat situated where it would be if I was driving, I have maybe five inches of leg room. Uh, again, this is just the crew cab. Uh, you do get a little bit more room with the mega cab. You have storage in the form of pouches behind both driver and passenger seats. Two cup holders with a tablet cutout. Right here, you've got a storage compartment two USBs, two USB-Cs, 115 volt, 400 watt power outlet right there. This center armrest uh, folds down, giving you access to two cup holders. I wish, I wish, I wish this was the same as the 1500s. The 1500 uh, center armrest that comes down in the Laramie and up trims is absolutely awesome. But again, come 2022, they will be sharing the 1500 cab. You got speakers pretty much everywhere in here, this having the Alpine audio system. And then up top, you got your halogen dome map lights. And because you got your speakers up over here, they actually put the hanger hooks on the back right here and right here respectively. And then I didn't point this out when I was up there, and I don't know how well it's gonna come through on camera because the ceiling is, the roof liner's black, but there's kind of a cutout here where the, the roof goes up, um, giving taller passengers in the front a lot more headroom. It is very cool that Ram does that for the uh, taller clients it has.
Um, with that being said, let's take a look at the bed and the Rambox cargo management system. So with this big horn, the only way to open the tailgate is to come up to it and push the tailgate release button. Um, it is assisted, which is very nice. This one does have a spray-in bed liner from the factory, which is also very awesome. And then if you look right here, you also have LED bed lights on both sides. You have four tie downs, two on each side as well as this cargo management system. Um, like I said earlier, a lot of people complain they don't like the Ram box because they think it cuts into the uh, cargo space in the bed. And yes, to a point, I mean, if you look at it, it does cut in a little bit, but if you think about it, uh, this is where the wheel well would be anyway, so you're not really gonna use that space. Uh, I have the Ram boxes on my truck, and I can still fit a standard drywall, standard plywood, and a standard size quad in here, no problem. So if you're on the fence about Ram box to do it or to not do it, I would highly recommend you do it. Uh, everybody that I've talked to on the forums has said that one of their biggest regrets one of their, the two biggest regrets are not opting for the 12 inch touchscreen and not getting the Ram box because once you have the Ram box, you will not want to go back. Uh, this also does include a soft trifold tonneau cover, which is very nice to have. Keep uh, all your stuff safe and out of the elements. Put the tailgate back up, two fingers, slam it home, and you're good to go. Let's take a quick look at that window sticker. So here's the window sticker for this vehicle. I don't know how well you'll be able to see it because the tint, but uh, again, 2021 Ram 2500 Bighorn Crew Cab 4x4, uh, standard vehicle price of $45,250. Uh, not much standard equipment in this rectangle right here. Optional equipment is gonna be in this rectangle continued over to this side. Most notably, you have the Night Edition package for $2,495, as well as the Level 2 Equipment Group for $4,890. Bunch of miscellaneous items right here as well for a total price of $61,410. Now I know uh, I get a lot of comments in my videos about MSRP or total vehicle price. Very rarely, if ever, should you be paying sticker or MSRP for a vehicle. Uh, there are tons of discounts, rebates, and incentives you can qualify for without you even really knowing it, especially during truck month. I know they try to move these trucks off the lot, and with everything currently going on in the world um, in terms of like health and all that, and I think you know what I'm talking about, companies have been doing pretty much everything they can to get people into these new trucks. Uh, some of them have been doing 0% financing for 84 months. Others have been just pretty much giving away discounts, rebates, and incentives. That's how I was able to get mine. Um, they are just pretty much giving people every uh, incentive in the book. Uh, these guys here at Pinckney, this is actually where I got my truck. Um, and these guys are very fair. So definitely uh, do your research, shop around, and uh, try to get the best deal possible. I wanna give Pinckney Chrysler Dodge Jeep Ram a huge thank you and shout out for allowing me to come to their lot and do a video walkthrough of this vehicle. If you're interested in this vehicle in particular or any of the new uh, 1500, 2500, 3500, or ProMasters for the 2021 model year, they are getting a bunch on their lot right now. I believe this is the only 2500 they have on the lot for 2021. They got a bunch of 2021 1500s and then they got a bunch of, or not a bunch, but they got two 2021 uh, 3500s that are uh, the workman's model. So I will be putting all the contact info in the description below. Uh, if you liked the video, please consider giving it a like and a share. And like always, thanks for watching and have a great day.